There was once a martial arts temple known as Ling Sheng Su. Though the temple had a long and prosperous history, it would take only one night for it to be reduced to ruins. The sole survivor was a man named Killick. Training under the old man known as Edge Master, he worked hard learning secret techniques for resisting the cursed sword Soul Edge in preparation for one final battle. You have become better at controlling yourself. However, you still have much to learn. What more can I do? Balance is crucial. If evil pushes, pull. And if it pulls, push. By maintaining balance, you can achieve peace, even with the evil inside you. You must master that technique to its utmost limit. Then you can simply be you, without the assistance of Divapara Yuga. Yes, Master. Killik, continue to train with all your might. You only get what you put in. If you give everything to your training, it will give you everything you seek in return. Yes, Master. Keep your eye on the enemy before you while controlling the evil within you. Is that really possible? The Devapara Yuga is the only thing that keeps the evil within me at bay. So what will happen when I lose its support? That could happen at any time without warning. When it comes down to it, if I go in too hard, I could lose control. Maybe that is what Master was trying to say. Meditating again? Yeah, it's part of my daily routine. Never the hard worker. Perhaps it's not enough. I have to be able to control myself without Devapara Yuga. Sure, you've got a load to carry, but still. I just feel like I'm on the verge of something. Well, maybe you should test your skills in a real fight for a change. You don't mind? Of course not. But be warned, I don't plan on losing. Strike without reserve. You'll live. 
Looking good. Your attacks feel a little rough, though. I see. What could I be doing wrong? Well, attacking's not about pushing against your opponent all the time. You fight as if you're not coming out of it alive. So I'm pushing too much? I see. Yeah, if you've got something you want to protect, you've all got to survive. Hey, are you even listening? You need to think about not thinking too much. So this is the Ling Shang Su fighting style. Yeah. I mean, I'm not too familiar with swordsmanship, but... Okay. How about we have a little practice fight? My pleasure. Thanks. I'm leaving myself open? How so? No, I didn't mean it like that. It's just, you seemed to hold back when you had the opportunity to strike. Were you going easy on me because I'm a girl? Okay, so even though the balance between push and pull is important, sometimes I need to push. 
I need to be able to make that judgment. I'm gonna make this work. A strong resolve makes for one whom people can rely upon. Killick, are you even listening to me? <sighs> but still... Hello? Come on, Maxie, tell him. Once he's lost in thought, he's gone. But that's just... just rude. I guess he just has that much focus. If only he had someone to look after him, right? Hold on! It's not like that! <laughs> Lizard freaks. These things are so creepy. Don't fret. You can do this. Final battle draws near. I can feel it. Don't worry. Your training's been paying off lately, right? Yes, but who knows what will happen now that it matters. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. You're not alone here. I know. I'm grateful. I think we make a great team. Damn right we do. No one stands a chance against us. Okay, let's go. Whatever lies ahead, stay strong. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history.